Today I'm going to model the 95% group resource for Team 23, which is closed syllable, and I'm just going to start with step one. I'll do the I do, the we do one, and the we do two. Okay, so here we go. Today we're going to be learning about how to read long words, multisyllabic words. There's six different syllable types for reading long words, but today we're just going to focus on the first one, which is closed syllable. Listen carefully while I analyze these words to try to figure out if they are closed syllable. The first thing I do is I start with my word and I point to the vowel. Then I scoop my finger to the right to see if there's one or more consonant. With this one I see one vowel, vowel followed by one or more consonant so I know it's closed. We use the symbol of a fist for a closed syllable because this consonant has closed in the vowel sound. So this is an example of a closed syllable. Then I look at my next word. I find the vowel. I scoop to the right, I see one or more consonants, so I know this one is closed. On my third one, I find the vowel, I scoop to the right, I see one or more consonants, so I know that this is closed. Now this one's a little bit different. I find the vowel, I scoop to the right, I notice that it has one vowel, but there are no consonants, so this one is not closed. Here's another word. On this one, when I find the vowel, I notice that there is not one vowel. A closed consonant has one vowel followed by one or more consonant. Since there is more than one vowel, this one is not closed. On this word, I start by finding the vowels. I notice that there are two vowels. Because there is not one vowel followed by one or more consonant, this one is not closed. And then for my last one for the I do, I have one vowel followed by one or more consonant, so this one is closed. Now if we switch to we do one, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to be participating along with you, I'm going to be speaking with you, but I need your help in answering my questions. So when we look at this word, could you please point to the vowel? Now scoop to the right. Thumbs up, thumbs down, does it have one or more consonant? So because of this one, please show me that this one is closed. Now let's look at this one. Start by pointing to the vowel. Thumbs up, thumbs down, is there one vowel? Now, scoop to the right, is there one or more consonant? So in this case, this one is not closed. Start by pointing to the vowel. I notice that there's two vowels. Since there are two vowels, this one is not closed. Start by pointing to the vowels. How many vowels did you hear or see? Since there are two vowels, we know that this one is not closed. Okay? Then as we get to we do two, I'm not going to be participating with you. This time, all I want you to do is to do those steps in your head, and then I want you to signal to me if you think it is closed or not closed. For this word, what do you think it is? Closed or not closed? One, two, three. Closed. For this word, look, think about the vowel and the consonant. What do you think it is? One, two, three. Okay, be careful with this one. Start by looking at the vowels, then look at the consonants. Signal to me, do you think it is open or closed? One, two, three. Sorry, yep, it's not closed. Okay, last one. Start by looking at the vowel. Look to the right. Closed or not closed? Closed. And then we can even pick up the pace. Closed or not closed? Closed or not closed? Closed or not closed? Now the last part then would be your you do, and there's lots of different ways that you could do that, whether it's a worksheet, whether it's handing out the cards and having kids independently work with them. It's your choice how you engage in the you do.